Hello everyone and welcome to the first Fuji Shooter 67 video of 2020. Firstly, I'd like to wish you all a very happy new year and I hope that 2020 brings everything that you wish for. So guys, in my previous video, you may recall that I selected five of my favourite images of 2019 and I sent those five images off to the printers to be printed. If you haven't seen the video, I'd love you to check it out, so jump on over to the previous one and check them out. I'm happy to say those prints are now back from the printers and, and I thought I'd take this opportunity to share them with you and I'll go through them together and I'll point out the good, the bad and the ugly. Uh, so without further ado, let's just jump right in. So before we dive right into the first image, I just wanted to say that the lab I sent these images to were White Wall Photo Lab in Germany. Now I've got to say the quality of the product is absolutely outstanding. I've never seen prints as good as this from a technical point of view as far as the printing goes. Um, the photography might leave a bit to be desired, but the prints themselves, the quality and the workmanship that White Wall put into these prints is absolutely amazing. So guys, here's the first print. Now, I hope you can pick out the quality here. The quality of the, the workmanship and the, the printing process from White Wall is absolutely outstanding. Now, the print itself, I did make a few mistakes here. Um, in my processing, I think I overcooked the greens a little bit. It, it looks absolutely amazing, but in the process of enhancing the greens, I've introduced a bit of a magenta cast to the water, and it's really kind of messed up the print. So I won't be able to use the print for anything, but this will serve as a good index, a good reminder um, for me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it up on the wall next to my processing, so that when I'm, just as a reminder, and it'll, it'll give me a few pointers for future, uh, for future images. In Photoshop Elements, I did remove a few dead twigs and branches from here. And the Fujifilm has absolutely nailed the greens. But I just thought that would try and enhance them a bit further, and that's when I've overcooked it. But I must say, that, I mean, I'm, I'm super happy with the print. And I will re-edit this and do it over. Uh, not sure when, but when I get round to it and I've got a free moment, I will. Because this shot was the one I was hoping was going to be the absolute winner. Um, but like I say, I've just overdone it, but hopefully I'll learn from my mistakes. Uh, I'm fairly new to the process and things, so like I say, I'll, I'll stick it up on the wall beside the computer uh, and that'll serve as a reminder for when I'm doing my processing, just not to overcook it. Less is more when it comes to this, I think I'm starting to realise that. But um, there you go guys, there's, oops. I hope you can see that. Absolutely amazing. So on to the next image. And here it is. This time I was a bit closer to the falls and I put on the 55 to 200 and zoomed in on the main falls himself. Um, unlike the previous shot which was just off to the side of the main falls. The main thing about this image, there was some morning light just creeping on to the side of the waterfall and along the moss at the bottom. Uh, and I tried to enhance that a little bit. So here's a shot. I hope you're able to pick that out all right and that the plastic sleeve's not reflecting in the lens there. But really, really happy with this image. Absolutely amazing. The, the quality of the workmanship again is fantastic. And from a photographic point of view, I'm extremely happy with it and I think it's one of my better shots for sure. Um, really happy the way the 55 to 200 has, has taken this image. It's super sharp. Um, I did enhance the greens a little bit, but this time I didn't overcook it. Um, I did put a vignette around the outside image, the outside of the image, and some people might think I've overdone it and darkened the shot a bit too much. But what I was trying to achieve, and some of you might not agree, some of you might, people look to the brightest part of the image, so I tried to create the brightest part being on the waterfall. You can see the morning light is just shining here, and a little bit here. So I tried to attract the viewer's attention right to the main part of the waterfall there, and I think the vignette 
actually adds to that and, and creates that. So, extremely happy with it. I don't know what you guys think, but uh, for me it's a keeper. Um, again, it's going to go up in the wall next to the computer and uh, hopefully a reminder of what I can do and that I can only get better. So image number three. Now this image, in the, in the video when I originally shot it, I got extremely excited and you'll see the clip in my previous video. I had went down this Kinney Brook Trail and there was nothing working for me, it was kind of a disappointment to be honest and I just took a few extra steps, turned around and saw this fantastic composition with morning light. Watch the video. So here's the print. Now first impressions I was absolutely amazed with the print and uh, I thought this was going to be my best print of all of them and uh, on closer inspection a little bit disappointing. A um, couple of things that I may have done wrong, um, it's a bit soft on some of the leaves. Now I've tried to figure out what I did wrong and I think there's a, a couple of factors. First of all I didn't use a high enough shutter speed. The other thing I did on this was on the I used the kit lens, the 18-55 to and didn't realise that when you go beyond about 35mm on that lens it tends to soften stuff and uh, so I think that may have been a contributing factor as well. I also focus stacked the image and I, maybe I didn't do that correctly. It is a, when you look in close you'll see the leaves are a bit on the soft side. I still love the print. Uh, and I still would frame it actually. Um, what could I do better? And I will be going back here next fall just to see if I can take the same shot and improve on it. Um, I think that's quite important to do that. Uh, like I say, I love the image. Um, there was a branch sticking out here, which uh, I cloned out. And then the moss on the rocks here, I tried to exaggerate the light on there a little bit and I've brightened them. I don't think I brightened it enough. And I did put a vignette which has darkened and it's especially made the rocks down here a bit too dark I think. Um, but overall I'm really happy with the with the print. Um, I think it could be frame worthy and I could do something with it. Um, but I will go back and reshoot. I actually plan going back there again in the spring and try and capture it in a couple of different seasons. I think it might be nice with all the new growth coming in the trees in the spring and there may be some water in the brook at that time of year too. So uh, I will certainly go back. Um, but like I say, there you go, print number three. So guys, print number four. It's from my ICM video. And in that video I highlighted it as being my favorite shot from the shoot. So here it is. A little bit disappointed with this one. It looks absolutely fantastic on the screen and the computer when I was editing. But it's came out with quite a blue colour cast, which I think is just a bit too much. Um, it's not visible on the screen, but I think what might be the problem is that I use a laptop for, for my editing and I don't have a calibrated monitor or anything like that. So I think that could be the issue, um, not having a calibrated monitor. Now hopefully that's going to be rectified. Um, I've got a new computer and monitor for Christmas. Um, so that's going to really help with the editing. And uh, So this is totally my fault. It's no reflection on white wall whatsoever. Uh, the quality of the print is amazing. Uh, the workmanship, like I've said before, fantastic. Um, I just think, again, I think when I, when I processed this, I processed it in Luminar and I put on one of their preset um, enhancements and I, I've just created a blue cast which doesn't do the print justice. So, lesson learned. So guys, on to print number five and there you go. Arguably the best of the bunch. Um, I like the waterfall image, but 
family and friends seem to pick this as their favourite. Um, not a lot I can say about it. I did put a little vignette around it. It's a focus stack image. Um, I did enhance the greens. The Fuji picks out the greens amazing, but I did enhance them a little bit. I've added a little bit of a warmness up to the top here. And really that's all I did. Um, and it is a really nice print. And that one might make it to a frame. Um, like I say, everyone I've showed it to reckons that was the best of the five. I'd love to know you guys' thoughts and see what you think. So there you go guys, super happy with these prints, would love to know your thoughts on them, maybe you have some tips of where I could go better, what I did right, what I did wrong, whatever you want to say just leave it in the comments, uh, it's certainly going to help me improve my work, um, but these certainly won't be the last prints that I will get made, um, and it won't be the last time I use white wall. The quality, I can't stress enough guys, um, a lot of people would tend not to print their work these days. Uh, myself, I'm, I'm guilty of it too. And I just went ahead and did it. And they're absolutely amazing. There's just, let's take this one. There's just something absolutely fantastic about holding your work in your hand. Now, I can just see this in a frame and put it up on a wall and it's gonna be absolutely amazing. Uh, these are 30 by 45 centimeter prints, by the way, just in case anyone's interested. Um, and again, the quality of the print from the camera and stuff, I, I can't fault it. Um, the workmanship from the prints themselves, can't fault it. And the way these things were packaged and shipped from Germany to Canada, absolutely amazing. Look at this protective sleeve on them. They're then in a, like a, almost like a greaseproof paper type um, sleeve. And then they're in a, a cardboard envelope. And then they're sealed again in a big cardboard folded envelope. So, and they arrived in perfect condition, there's no cracks or blemishes or anything on them. Absolutely amazing. Uh, so yeah, there you go. My five best images of last year. Harley, I don't know. They were my five favourites, I'll say. Um, they're the ones I wanted to be the best. Um, especially, looking back, this one was the one that I was hoping would be the best. And I think it would be if it wasn't for the magenta cast. Um, this one here was kind of... I took a little bit of inspiration from one of Nigel Danson's videos where he talks about the colour in your images. And uh, although it's not up there with the quality of Nigel's shot, it's kind of the effect I was going for. Uh, and maybe, like I say, when I revisit the scene, I might be able to pull it off. Um, but yeah, there you go. Tell me your favourite in the comments. And guys, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I really want to try and grow this channel and I've got some great things coming up in the new year. Uh, some trips and stuff that I want to do. Um, so yeah, take care for now guys. See you in the next one.